Hey, friends! Alright, so... What are we seeing today? What are we- what are we getting today? Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Let's get some Animal Crossing stuff. Let's get Master Chief in Smash. Let's get... Um... I don't know, just something, anything, really. Literally anything. We need Master Chief for Smash. That's what we need. Master Chief finishes the fight. Mario Kart 9 would be nice, but I, do you think they're ever going to give up? Mario Kart 8? <laughs> do, you, do you think they're ever going to make anything new? <laughs> Just chatting. Where's the hot tub? Fortunately, not here. We got bigger matters to attend to. I just woke up at 8 a.m. for this. Who am I? Jesus. Well, it's 6 p.m. here. Or just about to be. <laughs> It'll be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe. That sounds good for me. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe. I don't know. Because they said new games, right? Featuring new, new releases. So, I'm curious of what they're gonna show. Let's get... Let's get some N64 games on the Switch. Alright, let's get that. Hello, Moon Tea! I would turn on my face cam for this part, but I actually cannot, because, uh... As you know, the red screen on these events kills my camera. It looks so bad. Wait, check this out, check this out. It looks so bad. So we have to wait for this part to be over. <laughs> So, well, I'm glad we're all here and ready to be disappointed or potentially pleasantly surprised together. I'm not going to completely dismiss it. My, my expectations are low, so I can't be disappointed. I can't be disappointed. Yes, it is Twilight Princess music. It's Ordon Village. Uh, Iris, it means how long you've been subbed for. So, the long you've been subbed for, like at different milestones, you get a new little little uh little icon it's just us how there are only like three leaks very sus just give us n64 Otsi, it would be a good excuse to play the game again I've already played the game twice on my channel it's time to, if if it they release Paper Mario N64 on the Switch. I'm playing it again, without a doubt. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go. The pandemic! Let's get some music. Oh, the music. Sorry, hang on. Got it. Okay, let's go. Let's begin. Monster Hunter. Dragons. Terrifying, but also beautiful. Oh, it's DLC, okay. I was gonna say, I, I swear to God, this game just came out. Summer 2022, oh, that's something to look forward to. This, this is a little far away, hang on, I'm gonna make myself a little smaller so I don't get in the way. Okay. The Reds Hello, back. everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. 
Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. Cool. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. Well, if you're a Monster Hunter fan, I'm sure that's right. amazing. Let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Party during the day or at night. Oh, uh, what's that map? Um, it's almost time. To let's go! In the yeah! Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods. Woody Woods! Watch out for those Mario Party 3! Let's go! Yeah, My arch nemesis Donkey Kong! Travel between two islands and Yoshi's Tropical Island. Toadette's got the star, but she might swap she's places dead. with Bowser she, at the last she's second. Dead. Party day and night in Horror Land. That King Boo statue is harmless the during the, the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame only courses. Compete against I players love that game. worldwide for the I'm so longest bad at it. win streak in I'm survival. playing this tomorrow probably on stream. Well, not this, but Mario Party 3. Cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies and get ready for the party of a lifetime. Woody Woods, fuck yeah. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October Happy Halloween. I am, that is are available gonna be now so good. I'm pre-ordering the shit out of that game. A new RPG is in the cards. Card captors. Yu-Gi-Oh. Welcome to Voice of Cards. A reckless young man who fancies himself a hero yet ca oh, sorry. His traveling companion, a quiet monster. And a proud witch, her hatred for dragon all consuming. At for the, the dragon's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Slay the spire. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists to shops, towns. And environments in this fresh take on tabletop RPGs you'll square off in turn-based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck I had a dream about Magic the Victor. Gathering last night the, I, I manifested this game they didn't even have it invented until this morning when I dreamt it a spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to I said a dream like COVID so let's hope I'm not right <laughs> Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars, launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Alright. Interesting. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. That second caption is definitely me. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal. What is this, The Sims memories. on the DS? Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story I, I progresses. Don't, I don't know what this is at all. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the, the game will launch cut. early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. A little ugly to me. I was sticking the same Uncover thing. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors Age hey, of Calamity. Hey, I'm playing that later tonight. <laughs> Let's go. I manifested this too. A 
And about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm you. Right. Oh, did the robot die? Jesus. The robot's dead. The egg, the egg robot is dead. Our power. Take that! Click Time for the show! Oh yeah! Yeah, no. <laughs> Leafa, literally. <laughs> Ready, set, Chocobo! Chocobo Racing! Start your engines and get set for a new racing experience. Race as familiar Final Fantasy characters like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first to cross the finish line. Edge out the competition by using Drift Boost to cut <laughs> corners. <laughs> Magical stones called magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Wow. Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. But this looks like absolute chaos. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local I and online multiplayer. I wish the Mario series would do a racing game. Up to 64 players can compete in I a bracket-style tournament to determine the racing champion. Chocobo GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Okay. Master Chief's still coming. Show you how to use this fighter, Master so Chief is still coming! To it. He's gonna be the last fucking fighter. It's been about three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Master Chief finishes the out. fight. It's too perfect. Next, please take a look at this. Fortnite. Kirby! I said that. I didn't say Fortnite. I, I, I said I said Kirby. Just so you know. Kirby! Alright. <laughs> so cute, though. Here he goes. Kirby, wandering around the decay of the human race. Oh, I'm sold! I am so sold! This looks cute. Okay. 
Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It's cute, 3D, well, like, semi-3D. Not open world, but it's still 3D, it's cute. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I saw, like, baby ducks in it. I'm kind of sold. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures Those from guys. a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring it's 2022. The game takes place we on hope Earth. you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. There's a full direct for Animal Crossing. We're getting a full, full direct. That's gotta mean there's a lot. Since that's gotta mean there's a lot. The Animal Crossing oh, that's good. That's good. Has been enjoyed by many players around the world. That's good. Let's go. New free content will arrive in November. Not that far. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons direct in Not October. Far. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. All right. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Two games. Four. All right. More free content I is about... coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush. Game. I, there was a there was a first free update. I, I must have missed. Super it. Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Oh, this is gonna change everything. Dish out they got, they got the turtle in here. And dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Two courses are also being added. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. All right. What's this? An invitation. You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Oh my God, it's Kingdom Hearts. Spend time with Disney friends. Craft oh my God, your own it's Rosa Costumes and furniture, and explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS Dude, it's, it's version Kingdom Hearts. is included. Disney Magical so World 2 Enchanted <laughs> Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. A beloved Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets and join forces with Jedi, droids, and outcasts in this blend of action, role-playing, and adventure. Will you use the Force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Is that e even a remaster? Or did they just port the game over? There's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. This is the city. Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. Explore alone. Oh, hey, Mirror's Edge. Three other players in online I've played co -op this game before. as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. Your decisions will shape the story, but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go in Dying Light Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, right. and face hordes of the infected Parkour. in a post Parkour zombie game. Let's go. world. I never Dying played Light this stuff. 2 Stay Human Cloud Version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. A free demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. 
Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Good soup. Utility, morality, or isn't this or the, liberty. um, that weird... In Triangle Strategy, unnamed. a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning It's, it's still HGD. called Triangle Strategy. My apologies. Your it's actions still, will lead you through a riveting story strategy. that changes based on the decisions you make. Look, yeah. In the end, where will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In that response to the survey Delivery. about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls. It's pretty. The ability to review previous dialogue. That's what I'm saying. I, I, how and is it that hard to pick a name if you have most of the games. game already figured out? More details are now available Just name on Nintendo.com. Like Epic Fantasy Game 42. Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Triangle Switch Strategy. March 4th, 2022. Oh, that, that date's coming we up, guys. You better pick a name. On Nintendo eShop. <laughs> you better pick a name. Metroid Dread. Here we go. You are faced with overwhelming power. Your highest priority it should be simply to survive. I'm not gonna lie, this game looks absolutely terrifying. I don't like being chased. Yikes. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. I don't like being chased either. It's scary. Scary game. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple Curly environments, readings. each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once what? called this game's the nothing like Halo. Home. Besides sci-fi. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid, Metroid Red reports game. there as well. I love the close you caption. To prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. How was that? How was Up next, that? we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. Yeah. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. Yeah. As a part yeah. of this new plan's content. Yeah! You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi's story! Dr. Mario! The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I think this system gave many players their first 3D gaming experiences, as well as intense four-player multiplayer action. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Or online? Or online? Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games, Sega! 
Oh, really? The Genesis. You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. I, I was not expecting the Genesis. This means you'll be able to play these classic Echo the games whenever and wherever What are you doing you on my Nintendo Switch? The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership, as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. How much, Nintendo? This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. How much? How much? Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 game okay. shown here. All right, that's a good starting lineup. As well as these Genesis games. Okay. Oh, I see Fantasy Star. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. Show more. Yes! 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 Furthermore, we've prepared Favorite Nintendo Mario! 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can oh. be played with the same style controls from their original That's releases. Sick. Both can be used wirelessly. That's that's so sick. That's actually that's the coolest thing. That is the coolest fucking thing. This is the Nintendo coolest Switch thing. Online member. I can't wait to break that thumbstick. <laughs> we hope you'll look forward to this new membership plan, Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Wow. Wow. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. There's plenty to play in these collections. All right, I'm already fed. Everything else after this is bonus. I, I'm already well fed. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. I don't, I don't even... branching narratives. I'm fine now. Skill-based character growth. We're, we still got 15 minutes more in this direct, and I'm already and fine. In Shadowrun Trilogy. Launching on Nintendo Switch. I mean, I, we're celebrating it like this is brand new technology, but we've been the so deprived because they had N64 Dracula games continues. ported to the um, Advanced Collection to the Wii. Together so like, this isn't new, Castlevania games, but deathly beautiful graphics we've been so deprived that we're just excited music. to be able to play the it handheld on the go. It's it's and good. It's cool. Features it's cool. Will also, vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, are included. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today. There you go, guys. An almighty classic returns. Sega does with Nintendo don't? Yeah, I do. I don't even remember if I ever actually saw it myself, but I remember hearing about it. The classic Super NES game Act Razor returns on Nintendo Dude, it's, Switch. It's Fire now Emblem. remastered in HD. As the Fire Lord Emblem of Light, fans, you're getting a game. Almighty this God. is Fire Emblem. Only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord this of Dark. This is literally, look at it, it's You'll Fire Emblem. You wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and that magic to vanquish I can't tell. all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed that to giant make angel way for new ones, is creating a flourishing gold. civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. It, I mean, it looks, it looks Act cool. Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later today. A new chapter is about to unfold. Delta Rune. I actually just downloaded Chapter One on my Switch.
I, I just downloaded chapter one. So I'll probably be playing it soon. I don't know when, but probably soon. I like the dancing dogs. Really making that. Oh, I thought this was all the same game until the car showed up. <laughs> Hot Wheels Unleashed! Burnout. That's just burnout. Yeah, I can. Hang on. Cool. How's everything? Cool. There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Yeah, I used to love Burnout. I had it like on oh, the original Xbox. Oh, san What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Shigeru oh, Miyamoto on screen. What are you doing here? Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer, Chris Melodandri-san who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! The movie will be released in theaters Mario movie. on holiday 2022. I, I remember the they talked about North this a America long time ago. is on December 21st and will be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions I forgot, at a I later actually time. totally forgot about this. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action Is Mario going to talk during it? But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet. Chris First, Pratt? Course, what? Mario, Where's Charles Martinet? You can't... Who will be played what? by Chris huh? Pratt. You can't do that. He's so cool. Yeah. Mario will be talking a lot. Get out your Star movie. Lord. You can't do that. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. What? Where's Charles Martin? Next, Princess Peach okay, will sure, be played right. by Anya Taylor-Joy. Okay, I'm fine. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. Mario's little brother Luigi will be played by Charlie Day. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. <laughs> Bowser will be played Jack by Black the one and Bowser? Jack Black. Okay. I'm All expecting right. a okay. monster <laughs> performance by Jackson. <laughs> the comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing. Is to <laughs> what's he gonna? What's Toad gonna I'm sound like? To great comedic moments. Even though this is a Mario movie, what? Donkey Kong what? will also be making an appearance. He will be played by <laughs> Seth Rogen. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. What is Seth Rogen in this? Yeah, and of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved. He's just involved. And will be appearing in he's, surprise he's cameos in the movie. We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. <laughs> Who the fuck is Spike? That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and I'm fine with Nintendo, all of it except Chris Pratt taking Why would they take Charles Martinet? Of ideas, and I myself am enjoying He's fine the for the role. I, why would they take it? a little bit different from making games. Why would... It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you. Chet the Rogan is Donkey Kong. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. Next, we'd like to show you this. Wow. Splatoon! It's splooning time. I'm gonna tank. Yeah, I, that's from Overwatch. I've seen the hamster. That's literally just a hamster from Overwatch.
Oh, that's cool. The little, like, grapple hook thing's cool. I've played a fair amount of Splatoon now. Not a ton, but more. Sorry, it's pretty good. I'm not sure what that was. At all. I don't know what's happening though. They're going to space. They're going to space where no squid kid has ever gone before to the moon. That happened to my buddy Kevin. Oh no, the mammals are back. Hello everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. I, I, that's a good place to be. Are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. It's, it's called game rules violence. Are unchanged. <laughs> Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift, with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. That's, I like that. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single-player campaign. Return of the Mammalians. Meaning, I'm glad the you read it like that. of mammals That's scary. appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Cool. Please look forward to more. Splatoon 3. Cool. Updates to come. See you next time. All right. So, what did you think? Impressed. Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled to release in 2022. Please look forward to future updates. Okay. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. Oh, that's Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's, that's Breath of the Wild. That's Breath of the Wild. That's Nintendo. Shit, the new Nintendogs got dark. What? What it? Nintendogs, what happened? This is what happens when you take your dog on a walk in the new Nintendo. Uh-oh. 
if you haven't turned on your Nintendogs game since like 2007, this is what it currently looks like when you turn it on. It's, I told you, it's Nintendo. I I lit it. I told you. Wave bayonetta. Bad boy. It seems I'm unfashionably late. But I'm ready to give you everything you want. I, I've never played one of these games before. But damn. Her confidence. I, I feel safe. Nintendogs X Bayonetta. The crossover you've all been waiting for. Bayonetta walks the dog. Man, it's just like a DDR game. It's just, it's just a dancing rhythm game. I will not get it, but it looks cool. It looks sick as hell. I won't get it, but it looks cool. So wait, no Nintendogs? What you just saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch next year. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. That's it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay. Nintendo. Well, there you go. There you have it. There you have it. Um, that was really good. I wasn't expecting Zelda, so I'm not disappointed. They showed Zelda recently. I didn't think they'd show it again so soon. Um, I wasn't expecting Zelda at all. Uh, but that was really good. Animal Crossing, its own direct, which means there's going to be a lot of stuff. Well, a fair chunk of stuff if it warrants its own direct. Smash Bros. character, we have to wait for that. Uh, the Nintendo 64 games. Paper Mario coming in the future, starting with Ocarina of Time and Mario Kart 64. I'm in love. So, I'm ready. I'm ready. That I, I like that. That was good. That was actually really good. Um, so, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm excited. I, I thought that was a good direct. I had no expectations, so they were all, you know, exceeded because I had none. And yeah, the new Mario Party game in just just over a month coming soon. So I'm very excited. No good com will come of this. Thanks for the resubscription for nine months. Thank you so much. That's enough time to have a baby. Mike Allen thinks the 200 beans Smash Bros series starts uh, uh, starts now with Mario movie. Lol. Yeah, actually. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. Yeah, actually, thanks for reminding me. The Mario movie. The Mario movie. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.
I I'm 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 curious. I'm very very curious. You ever heard how Seth Rogen laughs? I hope they instead of Donkey Kong's laugh, they just do the Seth Rogen laugh where it's like. <laughs> I I hope that's where the the direction they go. So. Yeah, I, Chris Pratt is Mario though. They, Charles Martinet's right there. He's done the whole thing this whole time. I I just don't know why they changed it. That's such a weird fit. That doesn't even seem like Mario esque. None of Chris Pratt's characters he ever played seems like Mario. I, I'm not even counting in that Chris Pratt is, you know, not more questionable of character now. I'm, I'm literally saying it just seems weird. It's like a weird fit. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Well, that, so that's weird. But uh, yeah, I actually forgot about the Mario movie. I remember they talked about it forever ago. I totally forgot about it. But... Alas. Alas. Well, we got Brewster. We got Nintendo 64 games. We got a movie coming sometime next year. December 21st, I think. Well. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. So, anyways. Um, I'm going to wrap this up, though. I'm not going to do too much longer. I'm going to fully digest... I mean... I already kind of just did recap it quickly, but I'll talk more about it, I guess, uh, on my second stream tonight. I'm streaming again in a little bit, a little bit less than two hours. I'm going to be streaming on YouTube um, uh, at around 8.30, so yeah, just less than two hours from now. Uh, on YouTube, I'll be playing Age of Calamity for a bit, uh, so if you want to see me, uh, you come down. Age of Calamity, YouTube, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be fun. I have to finish Age of Calamity finally. I mean, I think I just got some spoilers in the Age of Calamity DLC update. I, I don't know. I, did the robot die or something? I don't know what to take away from that. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah, second stream on YouTube. I uh, hope to see you there. We can talk more about the direct, uh, but I will go out saying I'm very pleased. They gave me what I wanted. I didn't actually want anything. I just wanted to hear a little bit more about the Mario Party game, and I got that. Elaine, thank you for reminding me. Actually, thank you. That's actually a great idea. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'll try. I'll look into that. Try that out before starting the stream, since I can't switch it once it's already going. Thank you. Uh, Gracie Spacey Cakes, thanks for the 100 beans. See you soon, Danny. See you soon, Gracie. And see you all soon if you're coming. I hope to see you there. Uh, and yeah, uh, that was. thanks for joining me for this uh, Nintendo Direct. See you all uh, for the next Nintendo Direct. Uh, I guess the Animal Crossing one. Next month, I think they said. So, yeah. All right. See you guys soon. Like, T-minus two hours something. I don't know. All right. Later, nerds. Bye.